I'm Bob Moore. At a news conference today, organizers of tomorrow's volunteer search party said they expect more than 1,000 people, more than 200 Eagle Scouts, several hundred students, as well as members of local laundry union 218 are expected. Tomorrow will mark the 13th weekend of the volunteer search parties. Those parties haven't always been overwhelmed by volunteer support. The first week, a few hundred volunteers, mostly students, members of the Youth Adult Conference, and community volunteers set out in search of clues leading to the missing children. We found a, we found a little girl's body about 12 years old. Okay. They found the body of Latanya Wilson, a discovery that sparked a flame throughout the Atlanta area. The next week, there were more than 3,000 volunteers, some from community churches, others from sheriff's departments, and still others just wanting to be a part. This is my community now, and I, I care what happens, and it's, I feel it's part of my commitment to, um, to Atlanta. It was an overwhelming response to a community problem, but that second weekend represented the peak of the volunteer spirit. During the weeks that followed, some volunteers faithfully sacrificed their time every Saturday, but the overwhelming majority dwindled to a precious few, about 100. The latest disappearance has rekindled community spirit. Many groups have come forward this week to join our search efforts, especially the high school, Murphy High School, where the last child that was kidnapped uh, attended school. Laundry Local 218 has also agreed to search 600 vacant apartments of the Atlanta Housing Authority. The organization also donated $1,000 to help the Youth Adult Conference in its search efforts. Tomorrow's search will start once again from West Turner Street Baptist Church. Bob Moore, Action News. Well,